another way of evaluating capital budgeting project is yung IRR or internal rate of return. Uh, it is a percentage that you compute. How do you compute this percentage? Um, the IRR has the following uh, uh, attribute. No? It is the percentage where if you use it, net present value is zero. Once again, uh, it is the percentage when you, when you use it as a discount rate then the net present value is exactly zero. So, what does that mean? Ang ibig sabihin nun, mag-compute tayo ng net present value. Tapos, uh, try natin anong percentage na magsisiro siya. Ang ibig sabihin nun, mag-trial and error tayo. Uh, try natin ng, ng isang percentage and see how it goes. So, uh, plot natin muna sa timeline para mabilis yung net present value. Investment, uh, investment daw dito ay 23,956. Tapos, annual cash flow ay uh, 6K. So, the present value natin ito. Um, using some percentage, uh, try natin muna ng 5%. Try lang, tingnan natin if it works. Kung mari 5%, ano magiging present value niya? Uh, Siyempre, ito ay present value na yan because that's today 23,956 present value natin yung 6,000 for 5 years uh, once again formula natin is 1 minus uh, 1 plus i yan ang i percentage raised to the power of negative n the number of years 5 years and then um, yan. over i or the percentage itself that's the present value factor for ordinary annuity and yan. So, ang present value ng 6,000 per 5 years at 5% is 25,097. And ang lalabas na, yung minus natin yan, uh, inflow minus outflow, yan ay 2,021. Um, merong value yung net present value. Positive siya. So, it does not meet the definition. Hindi siya 5% ang IRR because it is not the percentage kung saan the net present value is zero. Uh, edi try natin ang ibang number. Uh, anong number ang ita try natin? Uh, yung net present value dito ay positive pa. Uh, remember the higher the 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 percentage, the higher the discount rate. So the higher the discount rate, mas malit yung number. E positive pa siya eh. Kailangan pa natin liitan pa. So, dapat yung discount rate is higher than 5. At try natin ng 6. So, positive pa rin. So, ibig sabihin yun, a higher number uh, para net present value will be 0. Buti naka-formula ako. Of course, you'll have to calculate that. Uh, try natin ng 10%. 10% naman, uh, naging negative yung net present value. So, Sobra yung discounting. Sobra yung pag-discount rate. Ah. Huwag naman malaki masyado yung discount rate. At try natin ng 8. Ayan! So, 8 naging 0. So, it is the percentage where the net present value is 0. Uh, wh what's the significance of that? Ang ibig sabihin nun, since pag gagamitin mo ang 8%, quits sa investment. So, another way of expressing it, is the investment is generating 8%. Yan. It is generating exactly 8% internal. Wait, return. So, yun yun. Um, how do you decide? Yung decision yan is, is basically, uh, alala mo yung concept ng cost of capital. Uh, every company has one. It is the cost of funding its uh, debt and equity. Ang comparison nun is you look at the company, uh, try to ask for its cost of capital, and then if the IRR, the project itself, is generating greater than the company's cost of capital, ibig sabihin, project is good, then you accept the capital budgeting project. If the IRR is less than the company's cost of capital, then uh, this is worth it, then I reject so, yun ang ating rules. So, in this case, hindi naman na state ng cost of capital, but 
company has one, and ko compare mo lang yung 8% nun. Now, uh, another way para lang may iba kang method, um, trial and error is a bit crude. Pwede ding gagamitin mo ang table. Pag meron kang present value table on hand, so, let's try, no? How do you did, how do you get the 8%? Mwari, di ko yan alam. Di ko yan alam, ha? Di ko yan alam. Di ko yan alam. Oh my God! Ano ang percentage na dapat gamitin para net present value is zero? Uh, pwede natin tingnan ng table. I-work back natin ng present value factor. So, in order for 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 the project to uh, zero, dapat ang present value ng 6,000 is 23. So, 23 divided by 6, ito dapat yung present value factor, 3.992. Yan ang present value. So, pwede kang tumingin ng table. May table ako dito. Ah, table. So, uh, five years ang aking project. Five year project. So, ang factor ay 3.992. 3.992. Ano percent ang magbibigay sa akin ng 3.992? So, tingin, anong percent? Ah, nasa 8%. So, ibig sabihin, pag 8%, lalabas yung factor na yun, ah, yun ang, ah, yun ang magsisiro. So, pwede yung ganun. Kung may table ka, tingnan mo, saan yung 5-year so, project, ah, yan ang present value, oop, 8%. So, that's another way if you have a table. So, yun. That's another way of getting the IRR. Once again, it's a percentage that you compute and then you compare it with cost of capital. Pag, Pag uh, mas mataas, good.